Hello, Chris Green here with the Flood Insurance Guru, where we have an educational background in hazard and flood mitigation so we can help you understand your flood risk, flood insurance, and help you mitigate those risks over the long term. Today we're talking about other structures on your property, you know, how they covered on your flood insurance, are they covered? And how can you get them covered? Those are the things we're gonna to discuss today. So the first thing to understand is when we're talking about other structures, if we're talking about something like a garage, you're generally gonna have coverage for there on your National Flood Insurance Program policy if you're using it for parking or access only. You may also have extensions if things are extended on your property, like your primary residence. However, if you've just got like a barn or a storage facility or things like that, in order to get that coverage with your National Flood Insurance Program policy, you're gonna to have to more than likely take out separate policies for each building. This can be expensive. It's very important to look at the private market for things like this. And the reason for that is many times you can include all these structures on one, pro on one policy, which can save you significantly. Uh, we recently had a client that was gonna to have to list all these different commercial prop properties separately. The rate they were getting was about $2,800. When it, with private market, it was about 800 the way we can list things out. Uh, so this is just as an example of how, you know, having separate policies can add up with policy fees and surcharges, especially if it's not your primary residence, because the National Flood Insurance Program does charge you that $250 fee. So you can imagine that fee, if you've got 10 properties, you might be looking at $2,500. Well, what if you could put all 10 of those properties on one commercial policy? This could be a significant savings. So when it comes to other structures on your property, like barns and storage facilities and things like that, first of all, you wanna make sure they're covered. And when you're talking about coverage, you wanna make sure you have a replacement cost. And that's something else the private market can offer as well. For example, if you have two buildings, let's just say your garage and your house, and of course the National Flood Insurance Program only offers up to 250,000 in coverage. Let's say you've got a $40,000 garage and you've got a $300,000 house that are both destroyed, you're looking at 340,000. All that's gonna pay out on your National Flood Insurance Program policy is 250,000. So you would be on the hook for that other 90,000 that you might have to go take out an SBA loan on to cover the difference if you want it to be livable again. So if you've got questions about other structures, you know how to list things properly on your National Flood Insurance Program policy, please reach out to us, floodinsuranceguru.com. You can go to our Facebook or YouTube channel, The Flood Insurance Guru. You can give us a call, 205 451-4294. Thank you.